All right, what we're going to do in this uh, exercise is try and make adaptive curtain panels that will uh, go from flat to twisting to 90 degrees to twisting the flat. And I want to do this on, an, a, um, on a mass, on an adaptive panel mass, because it will let us control the twisting of these very simply. Um, so the, the start, we were just... I already made the panels, I'll show you how I made them, but let's just start by making a flat uh, surface that we can divide, um, and then I add these panels. So what I want to do is I want to make it just a plain flat mass. So I'm just going to draw a reference plane that I can draw that mass on. And I'm going to name it, since I only have one, name it reference plane. And um, with that, I look at it from the front, the north side, and I want to make a mass, an in-place mass. Yes, we want you to show the mass. Don't ma it doesn't matter the name. And I would like to set my work plane, quick and fast, to be the reference plane I just named. And then I'll draw it. I could be precise with height if I want to by tabbing, selecting the top here. I can draw a dimension. Type DI dimension. So this is a, if we wanted to make this even, it could be a, we could change it to be 50 feet tall or whatever we wanted to do. Okay. So we have just a plain surface. I'm going to create a form, solid form. Uh, I want it to be 2D. So just so you can see what it looks like now. It's just a flat 2D piece. Select it again. We're going to divide the surface. So by default, it's dividing it 12 by 12. I want these to be more vertical. So let's um so the vertical grid. What if we make them happen more often? It's the wrong way. Less often, more often. Right. Not even one, even more than that. Okay. So now that I have a divided surface, I can select different patterns here. And there's lots of different patterns. We're going to go to this uh, rectangle pattern. And um, I've actually already made a few of these families. So let me load a couple in here. Tab it around the same file, not getting anywhere. All right, so I made one called flat 90. So this is standing up on its side. And I'm going to load that in. Take it some project one. All right, tab back, and I have a plain. This is just a, a flat panel. This, is, this should be really called flat zero. The other one's called flat ninety, but I didn't name them very well. All right, that's loaded in. Keep tabbing, and unfortunately, um, when it comes to the twisting panel, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to open that one back up. Unfortunately, Revit does not twist. It, it kind of makes, it just blends. We have a, a, swept, a swept blend or a loft, which is kind of annoying because what we really want is something that does what happens in this picture which is this panel keeps its profile and twists 90 degrees. In most modeling programs, that's really easy. You just say one profile, one path, twist 90 degrees. It's not that easy here, and I can't quite figure out how to do it. So we'll have this panel for now until we figure out how to do it. So I'll load this one in. All right, 
that. So with that, we'll go to 3D view. All right, we're going to start them all off in one direction. So I'm going to go to my patterns. I'm just going to do make them all flat panels and just see what it looks like. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right. So now we have our panels in there. Now what this is, is if I tab and select, there is properties to these panels. If I go to edit type, I've made them two inches thick and two feet wide. So if that's not correct, they can be adjusted, but you have to adjust it for each one of them. So I'll, I'll do that once I place some of the other ones. So with that, now that I have them all starting as flat, if I want them to start to twist like this, I can toggle to twist 90. And I should be able to toggle to flat 90. So now, if I put this in shaded render, you can see I'm starting to play around with these things twisting. Um, so then what I can do is actually use match properties and start moving a little faster and getting this arrangement how we would want it. So if I type MA, I like that, that twist, this one, oops, go backwards, say match it and tab until I get the panel I want and say you're flat. 90 tab your flat 90 tab so are you and then maybe we want to twist back so i'm going to type match properties tab to that tab to that panel now here let's see can, can i reverse this or do i need to I might need to make a reverse version of this so that uh, um, I can flip it back. So um, to do that, I'm going to edit that family. Now I'm going to reverse the way it is built. I know I didn't build any of these in front of you, but these are just um, adaptive curtain panel families. I just dissolved it so you can see the two profiles. So what I'm going to do is swap them out, basically. So this one goes away. Again, I have not named these very well. I want to make sure that I set my work plane to be the end of this reference line so that it stays stuck there. Put that there. Rotate it. Alright, that one's more or less done. And this one, got the upright. Actually, i got to remember to set my reference plane. Set that first. That just keeps it locked, so that if this thing ever starts twisting, these things stay where, where they're supposed to stay. Oh, no fella, there you go. All right, the next thing I'm just going to do, what, what these are is these families have instance parameters. So you can see where they show up here. The reason why I did that is so that I can then lock them to the family's parameters. So I have the same for the family that this curtain panel is in. These are nested profile families that are not really profile panel families because they're made as adaptive components. So... Uh, you'll see that I'm just making the names line up more or less and I do this so that we can change the size of all these things Once we are actually in the model Which is handy if you want to change all this which we will just to get the proportions, right? All right, so with that I selected these two pieces form, create a solid form. Um, while I'm in here, I should probably give it a material parameter too, just so we can control its um, material in the, the main file. Okay. I'm going to save this one as a reverse.
So it's called twist 90. I call this one twist 90 R. Load it in. Never puts it in the right view that I just left it in. So I'll go back to 3D. Alright, so this little guy. We tab through, select it, and let's do twist 90R. There we go. Alright, and what you can see is that has uh, now peeled open a little bit. And what we can do is we can now continue using match properties. Tab, tab, match, and then do the same thing. Match. Tab until I get the one I want. Tab until I get that panel. Tab until I get that panel. Maybe this one's a little less. Um, so I would just reverse it like this. There you go. And that way you can start to customize how all this works. If we want these to be a little bit tighter, I can select the entire grid by clicking on it like that. And um, instead of doing fixed number, we can even say fixed distance and say it's a three foot spacing. And we'll watch them get a little bit tighter. Um, maybe, maybe that's not working. Um, maybe we want them even tighter. Because so I think these are two feet wide. So if I make them two foot six. That'll just give us a little bit of gap between them also, just like that. And I probably don't want fixed distance, I probably want maximum spacing. So we're not getting partial panels. That makes a mess of things. Alright. And then, of course, you can always come in and tab and select each one of these and um, change its parameters. So if they need to be a little wider, you can always do edit type. And, or maybe a little more narrow. Let's make if I said that they're all one foot wide, you'll notice every one of those flat panels will change the one foot wide. So what you would also want to do is make the same changes to the other. But what this does is it makes the whole wall parametric, and it's only made up of um, what three or four families. It's uh, flat. We have the flat family. We have the twist. We have the ninety degree family. We have the reverse twist. So. It's really just those four families replicating on this entire wall. And that gives us a simple way of uh, creating kind of the look like this. Obviously, with this, the, the, the proportions are different. They're much more narrow. But that can now be adjusted. That can be, um, if these really are all, let's say, one foot spacing, I would select them and change it to be one foot. Maybe it's only one inch thick. Oops, that's one foot. One inch thick. That would become more narrow and more thin. And then I would do the same thing to all these other ones. So this one, I'll add a type to one foot and one inch. And then you just got to get through these four families. One and one inch. And then these reverse ones are obviously sticking out, but they're the wrong size. Same thing. One and one foot. All right. So now they're, they're a little bit better proportion. What I can do now is I can reduce the, um, the spacing of the overall grid by clicking on the grid. I missed. Give me the grid. There you go. And let's say, well, what if that is only, I don't know, 1.25 feet. It's going to take a little while because it has a lot of these things to make. So it can get heavy pretty fast, but that is a little bit more accurate 
what we're looking for here. And you can let it peel out. And then you just come through. You, you can build this mass around your building as a screen. And you can come through and edit these fairly quickly wherever you want to be to, um, to kind of get this twisting panel look. If The nice thing is once we have this framework set up, we can then probably come back in and uh, make a 45 degree turn. And I don't know about the twist. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get that perfect. But um, what we could also do is come in and actually put framework behind these panels. So some of the structure that's holding it all together back here, you can put that in too. But it's just about getting this started and having this mass built uh, to show what, what your model looks like. And we can also then start assigning uh, materials to all these panels. But I'm going to close this mass, just finish it. So now it's a completed mass inside of this project. And then it could be edited and, twi and uh, adjusted to, for wherever the light needs to be coming in. That's it.